Severe flooding is a major problem across Ventura County tonight. That's right. Water has swamped an RV park, an apartment building, and it has forced the 101 freeway to be closed. KCAL's Joy Benedict is live mm -hmm. with this update now. She's been out there all evening. Joy? Yeah, guys, we just had so much rainfall very quickly this afternoon. The good news is I'm not seeing any rain coming down right now, and it is a much-needed relief. Another thing that I'm starting to see that if you guys have been watching for the last hour is this water is actually receding. When we were here about an hour ago, the water came all the way up to this tractor, but I want you to look past this roadway. This is Main Street, by the way. You can see it's completely flooded by the Ventura River. But if you look past this to the other side, what you're seeing up there is a shut down 101 freeway that has a whole bunch of cars and semi trucks trapped on it. Take a look at this video that I just got from the Ventura County Fire Department where they were on that freeway and I'm told at the, the heat of it they had about three feet of water on the freeway in both directions there on the 101. Now the 101 itself was closed down several hours ago at least in the northbound direction. However the southbound direction was still open and that is how when that water came Came through, then all of a sudden one car was trying to pass through it, couldn't do it anymore, and then of course everything came to a complete stop, causing a lot of problems. So that's not the only place we've seen water. Take a look at this video a little bit closer into town, closer to downtown Ventura. This is at West Thompson and south of Ventura, and you can see the street flooding that they've seen in and around the area, and of course that water then flowing into a parking garage and an apartment building. That is Cora Apartments that you were looking at, and you you can see the water not only went there into the garage, but also into the office building itself, and it was creeping higher and higher and threatening to get into somebody's apartment that was right there overlooking the street. I did have a chance to chat with him as he watched that water rise. It's a little in, uh, intimidating. Um, I think, uh, you know, I think hopefully but the, the way the levels work out, they the won't get into the patio too much and get into the apartment. Honestly, this building's been having issues with flooding um, with the rain before this. So I assume after this, I mean, they were trying to get some work done, but I think there's just a lot of infrastructure that isn't designed for drainage because it's Southern California, so no one's expecting it. And back out here live, the last thing I want to show you is this, and this really is just a tough tough scene. This is the RV park here in Ventura, and you can see it is completely underwater. All of this starting just a couple of hours ago. They thought it would stop at about 5 o'clock, but then the, the river gave way and, of course, flooded around in a different direction, causing all of this. We have the picnic tables that have floated over here to the water, the water going all the way up there into the office. As I mentioned, the good news is it is receding. It looks by the water flow there along the water level that it's down probably Probably about eight inches, and that is good news for obviously the owners here and a lot of po folks who live around here. But of course, it's going to take months to clean up this type of water damage here in the city of Ventura. So, something that we're going to be talking about for quite some time, guys. I'll send it back to you. Yeah, you know, Juan, we were just saying it seems mm -hmm. like we're looking at pictures from Houston, that's right, as opposed to mm -hmm. Southern California. All right, thanks so much, Joy.